Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is two association methods: active scanning and passive scanning. In this video, I will also discuss about reassociation when a wireless device is roaming from one basic service set to another. First, what is association? In the context of wireless networking, association means wireless devices register with AP or router to gain full access to the network. Association can happen only in infrastructure mode, not ad hoc mode. To establish the association, a wireless device uses one of the two scanning methods to find an AP. These two scanning methods are active scanning and passive scanning. In active scanning, a wireless device broadcasts a probe, a special type of frame, to each channel in its frequency range, and waits for the AP to respond. Active scanning means the wireless device or client initiate. The search effort. Let's see the process of active scanning in simplified version. We skip authentication and encryption steps here, simply to focus on the active scanning method for wireless association. Wireless client is sending a probe continuously to scan for an AP. This is step one. In this example, both AP1 and AP2 hear the probe and respond with sending their SSIDs and other information to the device. And this is step two. The device sends its request for association with AP2, which might have stronger signals in this example. And this is step three. The fourth step, AP2 responds with the confirmation and approval of association. The wireless device can get full access to the network through AP2. In passive scanning, the user's device does not initiate the search effort. Instead. It simply sits back and just listens on all available channels within a frequency range for available APs. An AP broadcasts a beacon frame continuously to its service area. This special frame beacon contains APs information such as SSID, which is also known network name. Here is the process of wireless association with the passive scanning method. Again, we will skip authentication and encryption steps just to focus on scanning process for the association. Here we are. Both AP1 and AP2 continuously broadcast their beacons to all available channels within. A frequency range in their service areas. Beacon frame contains information such as SSID. This is step one. A wireless device listens on all channels for beacons. The device can choose which AP to associate with. Suppose this time device choose AP one. It sends request for its association with AP1. This is the second step. AP1 responds with approval of association, and this is the third step. Now the device can get a full access to the network. Reassociation and roaming. What happens if the wireless device moves from one AP to another within one extended service set (ESS)? Keep in mind, 
all APs within the same ESS would use the same SSID as network name. To a mobile device, the network connection won't be lost while moving from one basic service set to another. The process of device keeping the connection with a different access point is called reassociation. This feature allows mobile devices roaming. When you as a user walk with uh, your device from one service set to another, you won't notice anything different even though you are using a different AP. Both your device and APs work behind to make the roaming possible. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.